Hello, this is Running Robert, and today we're going to be talking about the Anavex Life Sciences Corporation AVXL first quarter 2024 summary. Today is the 8th of February 2024, and in the summary, we're going to be looking at the bullish and the bearish parts of the quarterly report and the company itself. So, I generally follow Small Cap Pharma, I do some games, I do a little bit of everything. So, if you like what I'm doing, hey, please like and subscribe, it helps out a lot, and thank you. Disclaimer is I do own shares in Anavex. I did buy some options both ways, uh, calls and puts, so I did make a little bit of money off them, but have sold all of that. I'm an amateur investor, and any advice given should be followed up by your own due diligence, and any information given is valid for today, the 8th of February, and the slideshow will not be updated, but as we get new news, new slideshows. So, what do we have? So what happened? The company had its quarterly report yesterday on the 7th of February. It was a quick call without a lot of substance. Go over some of the main highlights of course as we already know on the 20th of november the company reported that started filing for approval of anavex 273 in the eu however when pressed on the question there was no time frame for finishing this in the report so that question was asked and you know said first quarter second quarter and miss ling just did not give anything just said we're gonna get it done as quick as we can so not a very positive question for sure but we know that it is being started just no time frame of when it is actually going to be completed so on the question of fda discussions it appears that they have not started discussions about approval for 273 at all they said we are preparing for discussions so that is unfortunately very negative uh, there's no publishing in the alzheimer's uh journal there's really no information given. It would have been nice to have, at least we've submitted it, or at least we know we're on the right track. But again, uh, nothing given. And then for RET, there was no major updates given other than they have established why they think they had a failure in study based on having a, a too small of a placebo hold and that a couple people or a couple patients can easily uh, impact that. And so they will go to the agency at some point and they said that they could solve this by just having another study for RET. So there is some thought, but again, haven't talked to any agencies about it. And then initiation is the key word. So uh, Parkinson's, Fragile X, and the, any, and the new rare disease, all words about copy and paste from previous quarter, quarterly reports. And I really don't consider them to start anytime soon. In looking at this information for RET and stuff like that, I went back all the way to 2022, and it pretty much was the same. Like, some of these have been in the initiation phase since then. So, really nothing moving forward with any of them, which is very disappointing since Parkinson's had wonderful data, and then just it's just been sitting. Uh, there will start a trial for schizophrenia in the second quarter of 2024. It's going to be a shorter trial, and expected completion is mid-2025. Uh, so that is definitely some positive news as we are moving something forward. Uh, when talking with the regulatory, so of course, Alzheimer's, we are moving ahead with the EMA, but there's no time frame given. And of course, like I said, that was pressed. For the FDA, we haven't even started talking to the FDA. Again, it sounded from his call that they're preparing to talk to the FDA. Now, mind you, the trial was finished and results were reported originally in the 2nd of December 2022. So we're now going on 14, 15 months since they've gotten the data, but haven't even like picked up the phone and said, hey, we have this. Can we maybe start a discussion? They said they're waiting for the uh, Alzheimer's uh, peer review journal. I don't know how long that's going to take. They don't know how long it's going to take. So again, it's very concerning that they haven't even picked up the phone and discussed it. Now for it, the original phase C data for adults was completed on the 1st of February, 2022. The company, per their previous quarterly reports, was supposed to meet with the FDA. So that meeting either went poorly or never happened as they started to focus more on the pediatric study. And the second point is they do have fast track or fin status. They have all that stuff for the pediatric, even though it's pretty soon after the failure that they've not even scheduled an FDA meeting for RET is, again, just another red flag. Most companies will get the data and it's pretty sounds like they pretty much know it's a uh, the placebo problem or the placebo group having the problem. But again, haven't scheduled anything, haven't met with anything. They do have all those options to do that quicker. And again, that's just another red flag that we have. The quarterly conference call itself was fairly short. Uh, they have plenty of cash with almost no debt. And they believe they can run beyond the next four years. So 
that well, at least that part of this company has been taken out. We don't have to worry about any kind of cash raise or any kind of dilution or anything like that. It's they have plenty of cash for the foreseeable future. But this is kind of the call that we expected. I mean, obviously we got delays, the initiation of trials, no actual starting of them, and very little focus on the timelines. So I think Missling should be done as a CEO. I mean, at this point, it's he, he's gotten us to this point, which is very positive, but he does not seem to be able to get us to that finish line. He, we, we need to see some results. He does not seem like a result-driven CEO. And, and someone can argue with me on that one, but we're there. We see the finish line for several indications. We've seen the positive results for Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. It's just needing that push to get across the finish line. And again, spending a little bit more money, spending a little bit more time just to at least get maybe the EMA filing finished would be what we would like to see. But again, he just does not seem to have any priority to get that completed. So some of the hopping is starting to run low. And, and by the message boards, the hopping is starting to run low for a lot of us. As, as a long in the stock, it's hard not to be frustrated by, by it. We see the finish line. Again, Rhett has finished a phase three. That was positive for adults. Alzheimer's finished his trial. It was positive. But we are still no closer to getting these to the market. And it sucks. Definitely sucks. They finished them in 2022. Yes, even if it was late 2022. But we definitely won't see approval this year and maybe not even next year. And that's kind of where it's just starting to hurt the soul for owning this stock is that we're close we're not going to sell because we see that like hey all i need to do is just literally fall across the finish line and, and we're good and we're going to make tons of money but we're not there yet and i don't know if we're ever going to be there and again that makes it frustrating so again it's another quarterly report where we're just hoping and seeing how close we are but we're just not there yet but if you've been with me for this long or if you've seen my descent into madness following this stock, thank you very much for watching and listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day.